Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Actors Area. I'm your host, Sean Robert Grant, a.k.a. Reverend Sean Robert Grant, if you're in that field of spirituality. But today we're going to talk about something very important as actors, actresses, and performers. So happy to have you here with me as always. Let's get rocking here in just a bit. Business. If you have anything you'd like to discuss, any topics you would like to share with us, please write to showing G04 at gmail.com. Or you know what? Just put a leave a comment. Leave a comment in the comment box, and I will respond to that as quick as I can. I'm here to help you. I'm here to uplift you. I'm here to give you every bit ounce of insight, wisdom, knowledge that I know, and I'm happy to do that. Also, if you feel that this podcast has benefited you in any way, shape, or form in the past, present, or in the future, yep, because you know we're bringing that hot fire like Dylan, if you know what I'm talking about there, uh, please feel free to donate and help the cause. Donations can be accepted at PayPal, g 4 at gmail.com, Zell, g 4 at gmail.com, and Venmo at heart of Christ ministry. Thank you in advance. You know, I think I'm going to um, work out something where I offer you guys something for um, being so nice and so sweet and donating. So give me, give me, a, uh, give me some time. I'll, I'll work on that. And I'll, I'll circle back to you guys that have donated already and uh, make sure that you get that gift too, because here's the thing. In life, you can never get something for nothing, and you always want to give more value than you are supposed to, because that's just fun, and that's just how it goes, okay? So I'm going to work on that. Thank you in advance for your comments. Thank you in advance for your correspondence. Thank you in advance for your donations. Let's get into today's message, knowing and demanding your self-worth as an actor or performer, uh, knowing and demanding the best, right? Right? Having a high level of self-worth, guys, this is one of my favorite topics for actors because sometimes I feel like actors and actresses settle for, they settle for less, right? And they settle for less because they don't want to mess certain things up. They don't want to feel like, oh, well, this might be off limits for me to do this. I don't know if this is a, a situation where I'm justified in asking for what I want exactly. Well, I'm going to be completely honest with you. If I'm not getting everything that I want, you can best believe I'm going to ask for it. And and I'm not only going to ask for it, I'm going to make sure that I get an answer because I cannot leave any production knowing that I did not get exactly what I wanted. And so when once that's the case, then I know I checked all my boxes and I can, I can go about my business doing exactly what it is that I needed to do. Right. So this is why self-worth is such a pivotal, um, it's such a pivotal thing as it relates to, uh, just the idea of being an actor. And look, if you're an actor, you're likely in it to have some sort of fame recognition, wealth, whatever it is. I'm telling you, all that stuff is justified, right? I'd be, I'd be in the past, I used to try to downplay that, but I'd be worried if you told me you were an actor and you didn't want to be at least somewhat famous. You didn't want to be at least somewhat rich or wealthy. Why? Because those are the things that, that help us to live our lives better. It it gives us the opportunity to be more creatively expressive. And so that's why we got to exercise our creative, sorry, not our creative expression. We got to exercise that, but We've got to exercise our self-worth. We've got to demand the best from whoever it is. And I've had some instances this year exactly where that's going really well. And I've had some instances where it has gone not so well. And, you know, what I would tell you from experience is that you just got to trust your gut. And sometimes that means walking away from a job before anything gets started and really thinking about what's best for you. And, and let me tell you, you know, I've, I've said on the previous episode of booking 
30 acting jobs here and there and all this other stuff and whatnot. And, um, but I'm gonna be honest with you. It's, it's way more than that. That just, it just doesn't count the amount of jobs that I've walked away from because I, I just couldn't get what I wanted. Right. You know, sometimes people want to think, Oh, well, you know, Florida is a small market to be an actor in, but you know, when you're dealing with multi-million dollar, sometimes billion dollar companies, and they're attempting to shortchange you when they want to make you the face of their company, like you gotta, you gotta step up because the, the reality is I'm in acting because acting is my part of a big part of my livelihood, right? Like I, I don't want to be paid nickels. I don't want to have to be, you know, no disrespect. I mean, it's, it, it, this is your gig, this is your gig and you got to do what you got to do, but I don't want to be on, on, on set. And then all of a sudden I got to go bag groceries, you know, at Publix or, or Trader Joe's, um, you know, because I'm not making enough money as a performer, as an actor. So I'm going to go through a few things here that I want you to know of when ever you book a job and, and, and the number one thing you have to know and be aware of when you do these, do these things is this, okay? One, a certain job does not make you or break you as an actor or performer. It just doesn't, okay? It just doesn't. And you got to know that, and, and the way you know that is knowing how worthy you are and how worthy productions are to have you within their, their you know, their project. So you got to realize that no one production can make or break you. Two, you just got to be willing to put it out there, right? Even if it makes people uncomfortable, fuck it, right? <laughs> I got the explicit uh, tag on, so, you know, I'm going to be as real as possible with you. Fuck that shit, man. When it comes down to, you know, yeah, stuff will get uncomfortable, but guess what? This is your livelihood, right? You got to remember my livelihood banks on my self-worth banks on my net worth banks on my self-worth, right? What am I willing to tolerate? What am I willing to put up with? And what am I willing to ask for to hell with everything else? What am I willing to ask, ask for as an actor, as an actress, as a performer, right? And so, you know, if you, if you get in with a good production, the beauty is you don't have to ask for any of that stuff because they come correct. Right. So I, I did, um, a job recently with, uh, with Netflix and Afterglow Productions. And I mean, they were just wonderful. Like everything you could dream of as an actor or actress or voice actor, they just, I mean, they were on the ball, man. And I just loved it. And I'm just like, yes, this is how it should always be. Right. But then, you know, I, 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 I love when stuff like that happens because it shows me what's possible when it comes to um, entertainment, film production, TV production etiquette. Right. Um, because once I know it, it, there's a standard then I can see how far someone else could be deviating from the fact. But the reason I mentioned them is because they were not only professional, but imagine my surprise when I'm paid like two days after I had submitted my last um, voiceover recording to Netflix and Afterglow. Like it was just like, bam, already direct deposit, not waiting for some other company, third party company to go do it. You know, they they had the money ready and they were they were just like, it was like, boom. And I was like, yeah, like this is, this is it. Like, this is the shit, man. This is how it should be. Like, that's what's up, you know? And then there's been circumstances, <laughs> which are the exact opposite, all reflections of me at the time of where I've been. And I can take responsibility for that. But I trust me, if you know me, you know, I'm not going to settle for, for, you know, inferiority or, or basically, a lack of professionalism in what I'm doing because I won't be a part of it very long if that's the case. And I just, I just, I trust that. I believe that with all fiber of my being and I want you to do the same. And so what I'd like to start off with, you know, is as I was saying before, just remember one particular job does not make or break you, right? It doesn't make or break you one particular job. So if you ask for something and somebody gets, Offended and you get fired, guess what? It's okay. 
I, I, I've been there this year. Like, you know, I had a, a director who, when I saw this, this gig, I'm like, wow, this is a legitimate gig too bad. You know, we couldn't see eye to eye because it would have been really amazing to have this on my reel, but you know, it didn't work out. But, um, anyway, this guy just came off in the first meeting, like over text message saying we had to say hi to him and introduce ourselves. And I was like, you've lost your damn mind. Like, he's like, I'm a 40 year old man. I'm not playing these childish games. And so I wrote out a whole message and then I gave it to him and I got fired. And <laughs> actually I quit, but then they technically they fired me because they terminated my contract. But, you know, it was something that I felt good about and I needed to do because the reality was, is that it just, it just wasn't proper entertainment production etiquette, as I like to call it. Right. Um, and that's something I pride myself on. I'm raising money now for um, my movie, um, which actually me and my brother's film, Ring Warriors. And my whole idea of raising the amount of money that I am is so the highest professional etiquette on set towards cast and crew can be carried out. And, you know, I encourage you to feel the exact same way. And, and just because you're an actor or actress or performer, don't be afraid. To, to speak up. Don't be afraid to say, you know what? Like, I think you guys could do a little bit better, you know, as far as organizing things, right? I know you're doing your best, but, you know, it, but, but make sure it's, it's, it's coming from a place to help people and not to hurt them. That's the one thing I got to, you know, um, reiterate because I've never done that to, to just openly hurt somebody. But if, if I notice it's taking a toll on people, you gotta be like, hey man, you know what? And you don't even be mean about it. You know, I, I think I think this could be a little bit better. Like I appreciate what's happening right now, but I think this could be a little bit better. It may be something to look into in the future. And you know what? It, as long as somebody's not triggered, they take that and they say, well, you know what? I'm gonna take that into consideration. And he's like, bada bing, bada boom, done deal, right? So that's just one instance. Um, another instance is pay. So what I have taught over the years and what I've learned to do myself, especially this year, always ask for more pay. OK, you would be shocked <laughs> if you knew that if you were courageous enough and confident enough to ask for more pay, how sometimes you get 50 bucks more, sometimes you get 100 bucks more, sometimes you get $200 more, sometimes you get a thousand more in the process, but if you are confident and courageous enough and you're, you're confident and courageous enough in your skill set, never hesitate to ask for more. Another situation is never ever hesitate to ask for transportation, never hesitate to ask for tra for lodging or any travel costs whatsoever, because the reality is all that stuff takes energy, man. It takes energy. And so it takes energy. It takes your energy and it takes energy to recover from it as well. So it's like, why not be compensated for that? Why not be in a space where, you know what, I feel good about everything. And so, you know, these are just tidbits, right? These are tidbits that I've learned from and that I implement when I need to. And, and gladly, there's some productions you don't even need to like you don't even need to think about that shit. Like they just, they're just on top of it and they got it covered. This is for more or less when you're doing smaller productions and people are just getting started and they're sort of just dropping the ball in different places. But still at the same time, you know, let's say you're, you're, you're doing a non-union film and they're willing to pay you, uh, what I said, thousand dollars a day, you know, not, <laughs> I hadn't seen many non-union do that, but you know, it depends on whether the executive producer has the capital, right? And if they do, why not ask for 1200, right? Why, why not like, you know, why not go above and beyond to get that extra, that instead of three-star hotel, get the four-star hotel, right? Instead of, you know, $25 per diem, get, uh, get 50, 75, 100, right? Just ask. And that's all I'm asking you to do is ask, look within, have that self-worth, that says, you know what, I'm going to ask for this because I'm fucking worth it. And when I know I'm worth it, guess what? Somebody's going to give it to me. No doubt about it. 
And that's the reality behind it all. And you begin to see how this carries over into every other area of your career. And, you know, you begin to speak up to your agents. You begin to to um, really kind of like not just not stand for shit. Right. Like before me personally, it was always about being a nice guy because I just wanted everybody to like me. Now I don't care. Everybody likes me anyway. <laughs> that's that's cocky. But, you know, I'm confident that everybody likes me anyway because I'm a kind individual. But at the same time, you know, there was an instance where I shot something with NBC earlier this year, and it was through um, an agent, one of my agents here in South Florida. And basically, she just decided not to send me my paycheck. And, and then when she did send it, she um, she misspelled my name. She misspelled my address, which could have easily sent it back to the the pay company, the uh, payroll company that it came from in Chicago. And like, I'm like, dude, you don't know if I need that money right now. You don't know if I'm like waiting on that money to like, you know, pay the rest of my rent. Like, you know, I wasn't in that situation, but at the same time, you just never know. So for you to just not even like regard it and to say, oh, I was busy. Needless to say, long story short, I'm not going to put anybody out there. Um, I just never worked with her again. Like that was just kind of the end of the road for me because, you know, if you're that busy that you can't give me what I work for and what I made for you, like, come on, we got to have better etiquette than that. I love that word etiquette. You know, you just got to, you got to, and you, you've got to respect yourself to the degree of being able to speak up and let them know when that type of stuff comes and, and, I, I was like, every time she sent me something, I just, I, I ignored it. Right. <laughs> I was like, nope, not going down that path. And thankfully, you know, it was one of those roles where there's no usage or, um, or residual because I'll be honest with you. I think, you know, and like I said, I'm not going to call out any names. I, I think this woman is somebody who would definitely keep the residuals and not tell you because she's trying to build her own business. And, and, but here's the thing you see that early on and you get out quickly, right? What I found is you don't need an agent or an agency to do the things that you want to do with your career. You can do that shit right off the bat by yourself as I've done without any problem. You just don't need a third party like right away. And it's in, in the only time you need it is if you know they're really on your side and they're working in your favor. Other than that, you can do your own legwork, man. Like the universe is ready, willing, and able to give you every single thing you need to, to bless you to be the success that you want to be. So it's important to keep that in mind. Um, moving along, you know, another thing is just the idea that, you know, we talked a bit about this, the past episode, like writing down the ideal, Right. The universe takes exactly what we desire to see, what we choose to have happen, and it takes it and it brings it out into the picture of reality. So in knowing that you're demanding the best and knowing that your self-worth is high and so important to you, write down what it is you'd like to see. Right. Write down what it is you'd like to see. Like for me, I want my transportation covered. Right. I want my travel covered. I want to have a nice meal cater to my dietary um, restrictions, right? I want all of that stuff because I deserve it because I'm the best and I know I'm the best. So when I don't get it, right, it's my job to bring it to the forefront so people can know when they do stuff later on, you know? And like I said, the beauty is, is, is 85% of the time, I don't even need to speak up on this, but, you know, you want to help people out because the reality is, when you're good and you're you're taking care of folks, that's when you get the most out of people, which I don't I really don't understand why some people just figure they're going to just shit on actors and and not help them at all. You know, like just do really come on. Like it, it's not that type of party. You got to take care of your people and they'll take care of you in advance, you know. Um, so it's like. It's just taught me so much. And it's helped me so 
it's been so pivotal in my development of expecting nothing but the best, but also demanding the best. Right. And I'm not far removed from, you know, telling somebody like, you know, this was just this wasn't it. Right. Like I you, you got to give me more, like especially if you're expecting me to to bring my level of talent to the forefront, you got to give me more. So. Now, one of two things will happen. You hear me say that and you say I'm a cocky bastard. Right. Which means you're triggered by the confident level that I have in myself, which is totally fine. Right. Or you say, you know what? Damn, I love that confidence. I need to get on that level myself. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do that myself, right? So one or two ways it can go either one of those ways. But the reality is you just got to know you deserve it. You deserve the best. You deserve the best there is out there. I'm talking about in pay and experience with the production, meals, transportation costs, travel costs, um, getting you know your film and your material on time, whatever it may be, you know, it's just learning how to expect the best from yourself and from others. But the reality is once you expect it from yourself, you're going to see it show up from other people. And that's, that's the beauty, man. It's a really beautiful thing. So, um, I touched on a few things here, but I just, I just really wanted you to know that you have a voice, you have a talent, you have gifts, right? Step out into the world and act like you're the motherfucking shit. Right. And and don't look back and don't let anybody like anybody tries to come and doubt you, you know, fuck them. Like step into your truth, step into your your joy, step into your magnificence and just let that shit hang out and let it shine and let the people see how amazing you are and demand that demand that from not just from life as an actor, but in every aspect of life. Right. Demand that to the highest degree possible. And I promise you it's going to pay dividends, man, in ways that you can never even imagine. It may take some time, but it will pay dividends when you learn how to step up and speak up for what you want. Having a high self-worth and demanding the best for yourself is it's, it's going to change not only your career, but it's going to change your life. I promise you on that. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're wrapping up today. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, one of my favorite things to talk about self-worth. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love you here joining me today. Once again, if you want to, um, comment and leave any correspondence or just write to us, uh, you can do so at Sean G04 at gmail.com. If you decide that you want to donate, we talked about this earlier. We'd love to have you. I mean, like I said, I'm going to figure out how to get you a uh, gift for your donation, I'm going to rack my brain about that tonight. Could be a copy of my book, one of my one of the many books I have. Yes, I'm an accomplished author. I'm confident in that too. No. <laughs> uh we'll figure out what it is and then I'll I'll get that over to you when you decide to donate to the cause of the actors area and 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 you can do that by PayPal, seang 4 at gmail.com. Zell, seang 4 at gmail.com. Heart of Christ Oh, sorry. Venmo at Heart of Christ Ministry. Um, yes. So those are options. Thank you in advance for that. Like I said, we're going to take care of you. We look forward to hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. You are amazing. I love you. I thank you for for just, you know, being in here to listen to the the joy that I have to spread. And, you know, this this is this is a little bit of an edgy message, but I'm telling you, it's going to help you. It's going to help your cause. Remember that you're valuable. Remember that you're magnificent. Remember that you are the shit in every single sense of the word as an actor, actress, and performer. Own it, own it, own it. I'm out of here. Good morning, good evening, and good night. Take care. We'll talk soon.